Welcome to Bahamas Educational Express, Social Studies Lesson, Friends in Britain and the Bahamas. Learners will be able to learn about the country of England and the island of Spanish Well, identify some landmarks in England, name the primary occupation for people living on Spanish Wells. Ashley lives in England. Her teacher knew that Ashley loved writing, so she gave her an E mail address of Michael Albury, who lives in Spanish Well in the Bahamas. Let's look at the contents of Ashley's email to Michael. Ashley has four people in her family, her mother, her father, brother Tom, who is two, and she who is nine years old. She has a Coco Spaniel called Rex. Her mother stays at home and looks after them. Her father works in a pharmaceutical factory which make different sorts of pills and toiletries. The family lives just outside the city of Northingham. It is a large and important city in the heart of England, which we call that Midlands. About over 300,000 people live in Nottingham. Their house is semi-detached. Here we have the United Kingdom, a map showing the different places. So here is Nottingham. Nottingham has four separate seasons, summer, spring, autumn, and winter. It's often warm and sunny in the summer and stays light until 10 p.m. In the winter, the days are cold and damp and foggy. Ashley's house is heated in the winter to keep us warm. In winter, it can become dark at 4 p.m. Here we have the four seasons, summer, spring, fall, and winter. Let us talk about Nottingham's fame. It is famous for lace, bicycles. It used to be the home to one of the largest bicycle factories in the world. There used to be coal mines and in the city, and there were textile factories. The legendary Robin Hood's Sherwood Forest is not far away, and a big leisure park called Center Parks. Here we have the lace, the bicycles, the coal and center parks. Let's talk about Michael's email to Ashley now. He has five people in his family, his mother and dad, his sisters, Melissa, who was 12, and Sherry, who was eight. Michael is 10 years old. He has a pot cake dog called Trouble. The dog is not allowed to live inside the house and 
it sleeps on the porch. His mother stays at home too. The father is a fisherman and he often away for several weeks at a time. His father has a large boat and catches fish and seafood, which he sells in Nassau at Portiski Dock. Their house is by the sea. Spanish Well is the only settlement on St. George's Key. Michael can walk around the entire island in less than a day. St. George's Key is just one of the 700 islands that make up the Bahamas. There are fewer than 400,000 people living in the Bahamas all together. More than 4 million tourists visit my country every year, says Michael. They come to enjoy our clear water, white sandy beaches, and warm weather. It's never cold in Spanish well. Michael dive and swim all year round. Let us read Ashley's second letter to Michael. Her father took her on a tour of the factory for her birthday. They rode on a double-decker bus. The factory also makes cough medicine and toothpaste. All the ingredients for each product are mixed together and then pumped through tubes to huge storage tanks in the basement. Ashley likes when the toothpaste pours from one pipe into the wide end of a tube. The other end of the tube had a cap on it. When the tube is full, the metal at the wide end is cut across and sealed. Then the tube was pushed into a box. It was all done by machines. Here is the machines, the toothpaste is on. They also went downtown London on a train. They saw the famous sites like the Big Ben and the Tower of London. Her favorite stop was the Buckingham Palace, the Queen's official residence where they watch the changing of the guard. There is usually many tourists watching the changing of the guard. They took a ride on the underground train. This is a photo of the changing of a guard. Here we have the Big Ben Tower, Buckingham Palace, and also the underground train. Michael's second letter to Ashley. Michael says, he took a class trip. I took it to downtown Nassau on the island of New Providence. He visited government house. He took the jitney from Government House grounds to Parliament Street. He saw the statue of Sir Milo Butler, the Bahamas' first Bahamian Governor General, and also a national hero. Here is a map of New Providence, and on the right, a picture of Government House. He also was impressed with seeing the Queen 
Victoria statue sitting on a throne in front of the Senate and the Parliament building in Parliament Square. He saw paintings of the past kings and queens of the United Kingdom. Here they are. This has been our social studies lesson on friends in Britain and the Bahamas. <laughs>